What's up guys, the Panthers here and welcome back to another FIFA 21 video. It is 6 p.m. on Monday and let us have a look at what we may or most likely may not have today. Retro Reboot Prime Pursuit. Ooh, I've actually got a couple of uh, couple of little objectives here. Prime Pursuit for a Prime Gold Players Pack. Play six squad battles matches or rivals matches. Score two volleys in squad battles or rivals. Assist four goals from defenders. Win by two or more goals in three separate matches or rivals. Not bad, not bad. Retro reboot. Okay, so Liverpool retro kit. A Man City retro kit. The Spurs retro kit. Chelsea retro kit. And Leeds retro kit. Play three matches. Just wearing the kit. It's just for XP that one. Bit. It's, it's cool if you're a fan of one of the clubs to get a retro kit. But otherwise, uh, a bit a bit meh, you know. Um, let's see if there's anything else here for us today. In the old SBC section. So, icons. Obviously, we had the three icons yesterday. Nothing new there. We had the two leagues added yesterday as well. Let's see if we've got even more. We haven't, just the two new leagues. So let's have a look at the new content in the menus. 81 double upgrade, 83 plus upgrades. And that's it. All right, let's have a look at these. Um, they are both repeatable. 83 plus rated rare player. This better not be an 83 rated squad. Oh, it's... an 82 rated squad for an 83 plus rated player. It just doesn't suit my, me. I just, I just feel like it's a, a rip off. One, two, excuse me. Ugh. Cheese and rice. Cheese and rice. Um, let's pop him in. Let's pop him in. It doesn't require much chemistry, which is obviously quite nice um, for an 83 plus. But I don't know, man. I think an 82 rated squad is just entirely unnecessary. Um, and then the 81 double upgrade. Aircon on, guys. Sorry. Um, the 81 double upgrade. See, this is just way better. Seven players rare, and then the rest just gold. Commons 30 chemistry. Like, I would say, genuinely, never do the 83+. plus. Like, the fact of the matter is, is that for seven rares and four commons, you're going to get yourself two 81s or higher. And yet for... Oh, what is this lag? Right back in a right back. Um, yeah, there we go. So yeah, seven rares. You're looking at five thousand coins plus the commons. You're looking at maybe like you're looking at maybe like six k for the two eighty one pluses. Maybe six point five k if you're a little bit lax. For the eighty three plus, you're looking at the bare minimum of like eight k. And I just I just think anyway. But um, is there any like special packs or anything? No, I just think anyway that you'd be better off with two eighty one pluses ahead of one eighty three plus because two eighty one pluses you can get two eighty three pluses, which is just considerably better value. And we're going to get a walkout, which is obviously a fantastic start. Informs would be superb. Go on, goalkeeper. Go on. Oh, I mean, hey. Things you love to see. That's right. You moonwalk out of there, you bad boy. We get Jan Oblak, 91 rated, worth about 100,000 coins or so. For seven rares and four commons. That is absolutely banging. What else is in here? And a Skriniar as well. Now, of course, as luck would have it, Oblak is a, a duplicate. So Skriniar, they're coming in at like 25-ish thousand coins. And Oblak... Literally about 100,000 coins. Now, of course, not everyone's going to get that every time. So I'm, I'm going to have to discard him and get him out of quick sell recovery. 
But ultimately, now we're looking at a one pack for each, right? 181 double upgrade, 183 plus. But I just think you've got way more chance. Another walkout. Let's go. Come on. What are we saying? French. Goalkeeper is Hugo Lloris. I mean, it's no 81 double upgrade pack, but it, it's all right, isn't it? Hugo Lloris coming in hot there. How much is an 87 worth? About 45k. I've actually packed almost 200,000 coins worth of players from just two of those upgrade packs. And here's something that's interesting, right? I just, I just want to, uh, like, I mean, obviously we've seen all the content for today. There doesn't seem to be anything else, right? Uh, there doesn't appear to be any new players. Um, if we look at new players, there's nothing new there. Uh, if we go to active challenges, it is just the 81 and 83 upgrade packs. If we go to new objectives, <laughs> we have got the daily objectives. We have got the prime pursuit for the 45k pack, the retro reboot for the kits. Fine, right? I get asked a lot. I have 200k. What can I do to do this or that? So let's let's take uh, Lars Bender, for example. If somebody says to me, "Hey, Nep, I don't have I don't have any fodder in the club. What's the best way to get Lars Bender for 237k?" Right now, he requires an 84 rated squad and an 84 rated squad with an inform. If we took into consideration the two packs that I just did, and we get a Loris, uh, Oblak, and a Scriniar, and we put Scriniar and Oblak into this 84 rated squad here, and then other cards, and then Loris into this SBC here, and then other cards. You're genuinely looking already at shaving off well in excess of a hundred thousand coins of this SBC. So I, I, I see all too many times people buying cards with liquid coins, and it's one of the reasons why the fodder market right now is so high. And I want to show you the fodder market right now. Let me take off France here. When you're looking at eighty fours, ten k bare minimum. 85s, 20k, bare minimum. 86s, 35k, bare minimum. 87s, 45k. 88s, 60k. 89s, 75k. So when you're looking at an average, say, 84 rated squads, you need nine 84 rated cards. You're looking at 100,000 coins, right? So 100,000 coins for an 84 rated squad is where you're going to have to go. But once you put an Oblak in there, that's calm. Now, if you buy, if, let's say you need to do that 84 rated squad first, Ven Bender, and you've got nothing in your club, and you go and spend 100,000 coins on 84s and 283s to complete that SBC. If instead you did 100,000 coins worth of upgrades, whichever one you want, but I would go with the 81 uh, double upgrade, you will get way, way, way more value for your coins. Obviously, seven rares... I mean, you could if if you're going to be super efficient, you're going to get rares at 600 coins. But let's say you get them at 700 coins, so you're looking at 4,900 coins for the seven rares, and then four commons. Let's say you spend 1,400 to get four commons. Even then, you don't need to spend 1,400 to get four commons because you can actually spend um, 1,100 coins buying silvers on open bid and putting them into the um, silver upgrade that gives you four common golds. Right, so that alone shaves even more off but let, let's say you don't want to do that because that's too much effort you want to be lazy you're going to buy the rares you're going to buy the commons you are looking at 6300 per 281 players right if you took a hundred thousand coins that you spent buying um those 84s instead you would get 16 81 double upgrade packs right which means you get 32 players at 81 or higher now, obviously, you might potentially get a whole bunch of 81s, but as soon as you get an 86 or an 87 or an 88 or whatever it may be, all of a sudden, you're in a great spot where you're going to end up making, you're going to end up saving coins because you've grinded the menus. Uh, but anyway, that's the content for today, guys. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rate, and comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.